It's an action-packed Saturday night in Toefield, about an hour east of Edmonton. What does a bull bash have to do with an RPAP skills weekend? There they are, in the stands, 36 nursing and medicine students from the University of Alberta, watching Shea Marks from Sunnybrook, Alberta, ride a bull named Boomerang. It's all part of getting to know the rural lifestyle. Run, Shea, run! You know what a boomerang does. Like that boomerang, we'll come back to the bull bash later. The RPAP Skills Day begins here at the Toefield Health Center, where a full complement of health professionals happily volunteer to share their skills. They're giving their best to the students today with the recognition that we need to be part of recruitment and we need to grow um, those students into expert practitioners and keep our health care alive in rural Alberta. Need vitals. And so monitor. A Skills Day is a wonderful chance for instructors to share with the students why they chose to practice in rural Alberta. What drew me out to rural was, you're it. Um, you're coming in a critical patient. You have to manage that patient until transport out can get to you safely, so you have to know your stuff. And then get ready to hold this because it's going to bleed, right? You learn off of everybody and we're such a great teaching community out here that all the staff just work together and like, what do you need? We'll do it, like, well, they'll teach you. You keep this elevated up above your heart. You know everyone, you know their family. That connection, that more like you connected personally to everyone, so that, that's what I really like in rural. That evening, the students are guests of honor at a community dinner. Afterwards, magician Greg Dodds performs. We're gonna turn it into something that everybody in the world wants. Janisha, we're going to turn your 20 into a coupon for a free magic trick! Yay! <laughs> Next up, the Bull Bash, where students watch bull riders spin, flop, and ride. The, the Bull Bash is phenomenal. It's quite exciting. There's a lot of energy in that room. Next, organizers mellow the mood a bit. Everyone kicks back at the Moonshine Cafe. Time to grab a latte, meet students from other health disciplines, soak in the sweet tunes of Abby Kay, or test your accuracy in a game of darts. And we thought with the Skills Weekend we'd get more students out here so that they could see what rural Alberta is like and that it's not some place way far away, that there are a lot of fun things that they can do when they come out here. This has been quite a stellar weekend for me. It's the first time I've ever had a rural experience and people are so welcoming. For the first time ever at a skills event, students are staying with billets instead of at a hotel. With the bull bash in town, there just weren't enough rooms available. Greg and Leanne Litwin hosted eight of the students. One of the reasons we wanted them to be billeted too is that they could actually be in the homes of people that live out here and talk to them firsthand. Honestly, I think it's been awesome. I love the, in the atmosphere of um, family. It um, strength, strengthened my thoughts about rural. It's been something I've considered for a long time. Well, come out as fast as you pull the trigger, you guys. I, I mean, yeah. It doesn't take long on Sunday morning for the good times to begin. We're just east of Toefield in Beaver County, home of Sniper Paintball. What's more fun than flinging paintballs at, well, whatever. <laughs> the RPAP Skills Weekend wraps up here at Islet Lake. While the lake is still frozen, the fire is crackling, and the dogs are sizzling. It's the perfect time for students to reflect on whether rural could be the right career choice for them. Well, I think it confirmed it for me. Um, I went to the Rimby Skills Weekend as well, and that's kind of when I started thinking about rural. Um, and I have recently been accepted to go to Wetaskiwin for my last preceptorship, and so I'll be going rural that way. And I think Tofield is really like, yep, yeah, rural's the way that I want to go for sure. We love Tofield, Riley! <laughs> Woo! <laughs>